Chris and I are going to introduce you to a few personas. These people are representative of the community that we already serve on Reforge today. And we're going to show you how these different personas might navigate our ecosystem as Reforge members. So kicking us off here, meet Emily. Emily is an APM at Quantum Leap, and she recently joined the team here. And in her second week at Quantum Leap, she's been tasked with writing her first product spec for what ChatGPT calls an innovative quantum algorithm. Now, Emily, as you can ima imagine, she's really excited about joining this new team. She wants to do a good job, but she's very new to this work. She doesn't really know what's expected of her when it comes to writing a product spec, but she wants to deliver something that's high quality and can actually deliver the work that's needed. So luckily, when Emily joined Quantum Leap, she also became a member of Quantum Leap's Reforge subscription. So she logs into her account. From here, she starts to get the sense that there is a ton that can be helpful to her as she's getting started at work, but she's not quite sure yet where, where to start. And so she starts with kind of what I think most of us would by asking a question in search. Now, our search bar has always existed as a part of the Reforge uh, experience, but it's now powered by OpenAI. This enables search to pull more relevant content from across our library based on the meaning of a search, whether it's a topic or question. So maybe Emily asks something like this, how should I write a product spec? She asks that question and then search does the work of scanning our entire library for course content and bite-sized content that can help her solve that problem. Now, she gets to this results page. She sees that there's a ton here that potentially looks interesting. She definitely wants to get back to this first piece of content, which looks more instructional. But what immediately catches her attention is this section here called artifacts. So she clicks into one. Now, an artifact is a real example of the work done by others. These are created by operators who have solved problems similar to the ones that you might be facing in your work. So this artifact is a product story equation at Sprinkler. It was created by Vikram when he was a senior design director at Sprinkler. Now, Emily may not know what Sprinkler is or even what a product story equation is, but she can use this summary at the top and these tags here to very quickly get a sense for whether or not this is going to be relevant to her work and her team at Quantum Leap. Now, let's say that she decides this looks promising. I want to take a closer look. She starts to scroll down. Emily very quickly gets the sense that this is very in-depth work. This is not a template. This isn't the same as something that you would find on LinkedIn, right? These are the details that Vikram thought through and developed on his time while he was working on this problem at Sprinkler. The other thing that Emily notices is that she's able to click on annotations that Vikram has added in explaining why he did certain things in this artifact. So Vikram starts out by defining some basic definitions for, for product and other terms that he'll talk about later in the doc. And he explains that he does this because on his team, people were using the same language to refer to very different things. And so aligning on the same definitions at upfront was really important. Emily continues to read and she's starting to get a sense of kind of the shape her product spec should take, right? It should include the outcomes she wants to drive, the user stories that she's trying to solve for, and how she's going to measure success. All really helpful in starting to give her a more concrete picture of what she's trying to build here. Now, Emily reads through this artifact. It seems promising. Now she's ready to start building this out herself. So she goes back to her search results and click on this first result, up-level your product spec. She realizes that this is also a new piece of content called a guide. Now, guides are step-by-step -step instructions on how to do things that make you more effective in your role. At the top here, she can see that this guide in particular includes four different steps. It should take no more than 15 minutes for her to skim through. So again, feels like a kind of low time investment to really level up on how she's going to build out this first product spec. Emily starts reading through. She realizes that she can skip around to different parts of the guide really easily. She also discovers that as a part of this guide, there are multiple examples listed to help her figure out how she can apply these instructions in her work. For example, one element of the product spec that this guide talks about is defining the opportunity. 
Emily says, that sounds great. What does that actually look like? And right here, she's able to toggle into an example that this creator wrote for his project at No Joy. Emily's reading through this guide. She feels really good about what she's trying to build out with this product spec. And at the bottom, she sees links to other artifacts that show how people have applied this guide in their work. She clicks on this one to see how Sachin, who also wrote the guide on the product spec, actually built this out at no joy. This time when she looks at this artifact, she's ready to start using it to get her product spec started. To do, she clicks the use in button. She opens up a Google Doc version of the product spec. And to start editing it, all she needs to do is make a copy. And then she's able to start directly editing the work that Sachin created during his time at no joy. We walk through that journey together where Emily leveraged search artifacts, guides, and then another artifact to actually build out a draft of her product spec, spec in a matter of minutes. What Emily and many other ICs on product growth, marketing, and engineering teams have found is that Reforge is a tool that's capable of helping you get work done, right? It's a light bulb moment for these people when they realize that Reforge isn't just a learning tool, it's also a doing tool. Now, with that, we are going to turn our attention to another member of Emily's team, her manager. So, Chris, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to let you share and take us through David's journey. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ellen. My name is David. I'm a senior product manager at Quantum Leap. And so it's my responsibility. I manage a pod of designers and engineers. And what I'm really focused on at this point is defining our pod's goals and priorities for Q1 and beyond. Historically, uh, we've relied on the OKR framework. It's one that has worked, but there are some issues popping up with it. So I'm going to use Reforge in a similar way to Emily. However, the altitude at which I need uh, Reforge to help me has changed. So I'm going to come into Reforge. Again, I'm going to start with uh, search goals for Q1. And we'll see what it gives me here. This almost seems the most kind of immediately relevant thing to me, set and achieve ambitious product goals. So this, again, this for, this takes the format of a guide, uh, but this is written by a different member of our expert community, Ravi Mehta. What Ravi talks about is how NCTs, narrative commitments and tasks, are actually a more effective and preferred goal setting framework than OKRs. Not only does he introduce this conceptually, again, as Emily pointed out, you can go into the step-by-step -step instructions of how to implement NCTs at your business. And so as Ellen slash Emily showed in the guide, you can show examples of what it looks like, but you also have these nice tips from the expert throughout the guide to give you a little bit of additional context of how you can use this guide to apply to your work. So I think that looks great. I will come back and I'll bookmark this for later. But I want to go back to see what else this, this search result looks like for me. So I've heard of Noah Kagan, a pretty famous person in the tech community. So I'd like to take a look at actually how they approach quarterly planning objectives and priorities at AppSumo. So we come into the artifact, and now we can see that Noah even includes video notes of his thoughts for each of these different portions. Uh, fairly simple framework from Noah. I think I need something a, a little bit more in depth but it's good to know that there's different experts contributing to this community. And so as we pop back into this, now I have not only a new goal setting framework uh, with NCTs, I have instructions on how to apply that to my business. And I'm going to go back to the drawing board and work on my NCTs for Q1. And now it's my turn to introduce you to my manager. Awesome, thank you. Bringing my screen share back up here. Let's throw out Emily for a second. I'm now Samantha. I am a senior member of the Quantum Leap product team, and I'm actually a new product lead. So I've been working in product for years. I know the role of product I see inside and out, and I've even managed smaller teams within my organization. However, this most recent promotion has been challenging. On top of owning even bigger and more challenging problems in my day-to-day -day work, I'm now also responsible for managing the development of more junior product managers and working closely with executives that I haven't worked with before. 
Although I am determined to excel in my new position, I'm not quite sure that I'm equipped with the knowledge and tools necessary for success. Luckily for me, I also have a seat on Quantum Leap subscription, and so I'm going to turn to Reforge to see if there's anything here that can help me. So I log into my account and I realize that my team has purchased several live course passes that members of the team can use at key inflection points in their career. This feels like one of those moments for me as I transition as a product lead. And so I'm going to take a look at live courses. Now, one thing to call out here is that Samantha uh, has taken live courses with Reforge in the past, and previously, Reforge offered live courses twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall, and that was it. Those were the two opportunities to take live courses. Uh, this time, when Samantha logs into this page, she notices that there are live courses running throughout February, throughout early March, uh, and there are several additional courses planned for later in the year. This is really helpful because previously, Samantha wasn't sure whether or not she, the timing would work for her to take a live course, but now it looks like there are opportunities to take live courses that fit way better into her schedule. As she scrolls down this page, one course in particular stands out here, and it's leading product teams. Samantha knows that Reforge has previously published uh, a course called Product Leadership, uh, but she never felt like she had enough time to dedicate to this course, which is over 40 lessons long, over 12 hours of video content. Um, but when she scrolls down and reads more about leading product teams, she sees that this course is only two weeks long. There are three events that she can attend as well as optional office hours, but this two-week commitment feels very manageable alongside her work and other life commitments. So Emily, or Samantha, excuse me, is excited about this course. She decides to enroll using a live course pass and she gains access to the live course landing page. Here she can find everything she needs to successfully complete the course. At the top here, she can read through a note from Robbie, the course creator on why he created this course. She can understand what she can expect to learn over the next two weeks. And she also gets more information on the subtopics that will be covered and the expectations for the live events. Now, when she scrolls down this page, she sees that the content and events are broken up by week. So in this first week, she receives several step-by-step -step guides that she can start reading through to level up. So this one is about assessing her team's PM competency model. It's two steps long, it's 12 minutes. So again, pretty light commitment in terms of the amount of time required to get through this content. Again, here, as she's scrolling through the guide, she finds tips and examples. And at the bottom here, she finds links to artifacts where Robbie has included work he did around product competency models during his time at Trip Advisor. So again, all of this is really helpful for giving Samantha a sense of what a great competency model looks like and how she can start to bring that back to her team at Quantum Leap. Uh, Samantha then sees that she has access to an upcoming live event. Uh, in previous live courses that Samantha attended, the live events were very much structured around case studies. They were largely a conversation between the course instructor and a featured guest, but she sees that this one is going to be a workshop. It'll give her the opportunity to bring her questions and her problems that she's tackling at Quantum Leap to the rest of the group to get input from her peers and from the course creator, Ravi. She also sees at the top of this live course page the opportunity to join her peers and Ravi, the expert who created the course, on Slack. She does this and is able to engage directly with Ravi outside of events on how she can start to apply this content to her team at Quantum Leap. Two short weeks later, Samantha has finished the course. She's leaving the course not just with new knowledge, but also with her own tools to reassess her team's competency model. She leaves the course with a talent roadmap that she's built out to guide her team's hiring for the next quarter. And she's also leaving with a few new connections to product leaders at other companies. And they plan to stay in touch as they all go through their own transitions into leadership. Samantha's journey is one that looks very different from the live courses journey that Reforge has previously offered. It's a journey that leverages the best parts of live courses, the live time, the access to peers, the access to experts, but delivers it in a way that makes it possible to balance this learning while also working.